Hey everybody, back with another video. Um, I don't know what I'm going to be filming here. I picked up this pole position cockpit a few months back and I'm actually working on some pole position boards in the basement. So I figured it would be a good time to come and look at this thing here. What's that say? I need to get the boards out of here. Don't connect filter board to the RF cage. Danger. Uh, maybe it shorts it out or something, I guess. That's kind of interesting. Please note, don't do that. Um, fan is seems like it's a little jacked up. It's filthy inside there. I'm going to show that in a second. The ARs don't look terrible um, at all. That fan looks like hell. And let me get my... Anyway, let me pull the board right, up. It looks, ter it looks like a, a mouse or a rat was in here at one point. A mouse probably. Something was living in there. I'm going to have to clean that out. Got Machashito 19 inch monitor and a pole position schematic. I wasn't planning on messing with this today, honestly. Looks like there's a um, stapled pole position dip switch settings and stuff. Not really too bad actually there's no there's a fuse here that's wired up manually that's a little odd hmm I wonder oh you know what they did it probably burnt a fuse so they wired it in manually I'm gonna have to look at that later the other thing here is um, it looks like these edge connectors were rewired. Somebody wouldn't... It's pretty poorly done actually um, as far as that connector goes because you can see like wires almost touching each other. They're not shrink wrapped. There's... yeah, that looks jacked up. And I bet that wasn't like that originally. The connector is not bad. I mean, it looks good. This one, I don't know if that's normal, original or not. But I took the board out, or I'm getting ready to take the board out if I can. Can't do it with one hand. All right, bad news. Look at that acid damage there. I mean, it goes from here all the way these resistors here all up in here potentially all the way up here I mean this whole lower spot needs to be neutralized and cleaned up and I gotta get this battery off of there I knew it had this it was gonna likely have battery damage on it so this is definitely gonna be a board repair it looks like somebody had replaced the edge, the fingers before. Not a great job on that. It's already corroded. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna have to do some work right, we'll there. Do a quick little serial number check. So serial number on the board is up. It says upright one seven nine three three, and this cabinet is S sit down S D. SD1071, SD1071, on the monitor, SD1071, and I believe on the cage, somewhere, hmm, maybe not on the cage, be careful with that, um, on the filter board, Nope, filter board says upright 17933, which filter board matches the actual um, PCB. And this is a pole position 2, I think. It has this um, 
they just taped over it pole position two, but it's originally a pole position one cockpit. It definitely needs some work. It's dirty. It's got a little dent right here in the control panel and stuff. All right, well, anyway, I, like I said, I don't know what I'm going to be doing in this video, but I figured I'd document a little bit the monitor and everything else. All right, getting back to this, uh, I'm going to take a break from working on the board and just uh, do some cleanup, yank stuff out of here, clean out that mouse shit, get the transformer ready, check the power supplies. This, I don't know if I mentioned this before, but this fan here, they spliced in, it's a 120 volt AC fan. I don't know if that was original like that, um, but I'm going to yank that out too. We've got the monitor, have no idea if it works, need to pull that out. I want to also rip up this carpet that's in here. And the, the control panel is, is a little bit dented. I want to see if I can fix that too. Alright, just a little documentation here. Got a, found a comb in there, a couple quarters, three quarters, 1979. This says something, I don't know if you can see it. Assembly routing tag model SD. Okay, sit down pole position, and then it has a part number and it has date issued 17. It's also in here. Pull the monitor out, so it's stapled um, underneath that monitor. This thing has never been removed. That monitor. Pulled it out right there. That's the Matsushita, whatever. Interesting. I need to get that carpet out in the middle because I can't. I think that's the speakers for the rear speakers. I gotta figure out how, where those disconnect at so I can pull the harness out. And I think I already mentioned this is broken, so I gotta do something with that. All right, sitting here inside, and it's kind of fun discovering this stuff says family fun center golden dome i don't know if that's where it was at when's the last time you've seen one of these things am i right or am i mistaken i don't know maybe i haven't even opened a soda recently oh i'm thinking of the other thing the, the peel back whatever got everything doesn't look too bad. This is still stapled in. I think one staple and I can pull the monitor surround out. Um, yeah. I pulled the carpet out, but it's just bare wood, probably with some stickiness of where they had the anti-slip stuff before. And I think, I guess I have to tip this thing over to unplug that harness. It might be plugged in underneath. This thing has definitely not been cut some people will cut this right here and bring it into two spots as well as right here but i'm going to try to avoid that well i guess i know how to get the to the wire i guess you um unscrew there's six screws that hold this backboard and i guess i'm glad i did remove it all types of stuff stuck back there it's kind of gross and down in there, it looks like a, some deck of cards or a whole bunch of tokens and coins and some other shit. Interesting. All right, gonna have to mark these. All right, got everything out of the cabinet. And um, yeah, it's kind of weird. Like you have this bottom piece here and then there's like, I don't know if you can see it, there's a piece of wood there, that like a channel that runs in between those. And then you have the wheels and leg levelers. <clears throat> These are all the coins I got out of it, tokens and stuff. I found this interesting. This was sitting at the bottom. Single people love us. Expand your lifestyle through Turning Point, a better way of meeting exciting singles. Can you see anything that's more 80s looking than this? Anyway, I thought that was kind of interesting. <clears throat> um, 
Yeah, so just cleaning time and trying to get this out. I might replace those wheels. I'm not sure. See if I can find some that match that. That would be nice. Otherwise, I'll just take them apart and try to smooth them and sand them and stuff so they roll a little bit easier. All right, at the bench, I pulled the uh, power supplies and that um, power brick right there just to bring down and test. I might replace the 2N3055. It's 1982. But anyway, this is my little... I'll link to a video. I'm not going to explain everything, but basically, I... To test these AR2s, I already have a, um, an Atari power brick over here, hooking up a 1 amp load, a 1 ohm load, which should be 5 amps on the 5 volt power supply. Have that running to 5 volts basically in ground. I'm doing a sense mod, so I'm hooking up my positive sense to this capacitor here and right there. And I'm hooking my negative sense over here to ground. For example, I'm also running a speaker to my phone, the speaker input to my phone, so I can play some music and output it to the speaker and test the amplifiers. So just kind of documenting what I'm doing. I've already shown this before, so I don't really want to kind of repeat myself too much. But let's go ahead and hit power. You can hear the speaker kind of turn on, and it's pretty quiet right now, so that's good. I'm just going to hit this trace right there. We got 5.2 volts, so it's a little high. I'm going to adjust it if I can with a little screwdriver. Probably shouldn't use metal. Hmm. See if I find that actually adjusts it. Yes, it did. I don't know why they had it so high, but it does adjust. Oop! No, oh, wrong, wrong, wrong trace. There we go. Five point zero eight volts. Could go down a little bit more. And they had this thing kind of cranked up to like 5.2 volts. But that could be because of some poor edge connectors. There's 5.03. So I would say that's good. I'm going to get my phone on. There we go. And then if I change my speaker over to here and my input there we go so you can see that hopefully um, that's not long enough for YouTube to to flag me because I'm playing belly I think but um, you get the idea so this power supply is good Everything's working on it. It's working great under a 5 amp load. Nice and stable. That is super hot though, by the way, so you don't want to leave it on too long. So I got one more to test. Um, both amps were working. And here's the other one. So I'll hook on to that and test that. And then I'll also test the um, actual power brick in for ripple voltage see if I need to um, replace the big All right, power supply number two I got my load hooked up that's grounded I got my um, sense mod in there to there got my speaker hooked up turn it on see what we get voltage wise and we do not have 5 volts. Let me try it without a load. And we have 5 volts. So we are probably this this bottle cap is what I expect. But I'm not positive. Um, but we have 5 volts without a load. And I will disconnect all of this and inspect the board a little bit more closely to make sure my resistors and 
diodes are, are good. Alright, I should have noticed this right away because I didn't inspect it first, but that R30 is super crispy. That's probably open. And look what they did in R29. That's It even looks like it's bridged to R7. <laughs> like what a, what a crappy job there. Look at that. Is that touching? If it, no, it might not be touching, but it's damn close. So I think those are both 10 ohm, one quarter watt resistors. You can put in a half watt. It's probably not going to kill it. Um, but really, you want them to blow up, uh, you know, if rather than. Um, but anyway, I'm not getting into that. I'm going to find um, what, I either have a half watt or a quarter watt. Alright, check this out. I pulled out that resistor. This is R29, I think. Is it? Yeah, R29. Check this out. Damn, can I get not get it registered? Let's see. Hmm. That's weird. Thought I was getting it registered a second ago. Hmm. Infinite resistance. It's open. That's crazy. Alright, here's the other one. That was an R30, 1.8K is what it's reading. And I'm going to put in this 10 ohm resistor. There you go. So I'm going to solder those in and we'll power the board back up. Um, it's possible this LM305, I think Q1 is. That might be bad, or the bottle cap, I'm not sure. We'll find out. All right, let's power it on. I got those resistors replaced at R29 and R30. And I will just hold that like this. And we have good five volts with, um, a five amp load. So something blew those resistors out when it was in the game. Or am I not hooked up? Let's see. That's going to ground. That's going to five volts. Hmm. Make sure that I have my. It's not feeling warm my ground is going to ground oh duh <laughs> yeah no that's yeah that's right what the hell do I not have good connectivity Let's see I may not have good good connection there I got five volts. Wasn't making good contact, yeah, so it is not regulating. I got 1.2 volts. And now this should get somewhat warm here. Or maybe not because it's actually, that's weird. But if I unplug this, unplug that, do I'm back at five volts? Yeah. Back at five volts, hook it up. So we still got something going on. All right. Um, I'll replace the bottle cap and if that's not it, I'll replace the LM. 
All right, I put in my new 3055. I actually tested the other one. It did test bad. And I have my power supply and it is regulating correctly with a five amp load. So just as preventive maintenance, I'm gonna replace I'm gonna replace this one here too, that 3055. It's working, but I'm just gonna replace it anyway, so. But that's cool. Oh yeah, let me test the speaker on this. Seems thing. like the speaker is working. Just change this around. So I don't want to leave it on too long, but anyway, speaker, the amps are working, so that's good. All right, just to show that um, I was testing these. Um, this is the bad two, two zero, um, 3055 right there. And it's labeled. This is the base and base to emitter. And let me use it. We got a 0.5 voltage drop, base to collector nothing and on on a brand new one base to collector we got a voltage drop base to emitter nothing no what yeah nothing and then nothing nothing so let's see if this one is a collector to base emitter nothing emitter to collector base nothing it's just that um, you don't get anything base to collector and you should get 0.5 voltage drop so it's open so this bad boy was whoops this bad boy was bad um, and I already put new ones in and we'll do some other stuff all right working on the bottom here and I got new leg levelers I just cleaned these up with some WD-40 and a wire brush these little T-nuts right here and get most of the rust out and spray it with some WD-40 inside on the threads. I um, vacuumed and used a leaf blower to blow most of the stuff out. Yeah, so I think I got it pretty good. Um, you can see actually when I blew with the leaf blower like shit came flying out so now I gotta vacuum that part out because it blew it from inside here all the way up you know around the back side of it um i also i did clean these wheels and they're not bad but the wheels are pretty worn and i found these at harbor freight which are four by one and a quarter these are four inch wheels but maybe by like one inch so these are a little bit more heavy duty these ones at Harbor Freight and they were like six six bucks or something seven bucks a piece maybe four inch swivel caster and they actually because of the whole pattern is elongated they actually fit I think right on you know where it's going there sorry but I'll film that a little bit later and then I got some new leg levelers the only t-nut that's somewhat loose is this one down here but it wouldn't be perfect replacement if I did did um, these brackets and I um, am only going to do it if I have to so if that pulls out down here then I will replace it otherwise I'm just gonna let it be until it fails I guess and then I'll deal with it all right be right back Gonna screw in some little stuff. magic eraser cleaning up the vinyl side art here. Um, I didn't actually have any goo gone up here, so to get off the goo from that sticker, and there was some something else here where they actually put um, electric tape for the number two. I removed it and then used a little bit of WD-40 and just some elbow grease and got the stickiness off of there. So just uh, filming the interesting parts that WD-40 works like goo gone it doesn't damage the vinyl side art from what i can tell it's my first time using it but i'm going to go over it one more time with magic eraser this isn't going to be like a full restore i'm not probably i'm not going to replace the t-molding i probably could but i'm just going to clean everything up the best i can and get it up and operational all right got the other side done 
again just cleaning it but most of the scuffs are all fixed up and it's you know it, there's a little bit of swelling on the outside and the edges and stuff but I'm not worried about it it is good enough the only thing is should I take that sticker two coins one playoff I'm not sure if I want to try to take that off but otherwise you know the side art is mostly good if I was really anal about it and I'm not anymore because I learned my lesson about trying to do too much with the games just get them cleaned up fixed up and play them and enjoy them um, unless there's something really bad off with them that needs repairing I just gonna start leaving them alone and not try to do too much work because then I end up getting bogged down and can't get anything done so all right let me flip this thing up all right I might wrap up this video just do a walk around I cleaned the back you tell me I think I'm gonna remove this but that's exactly what it looked like there this was actually really bad and it's not perfect but um there was a lot of black stuff on the bottom so I got most of it most of it off it was that orange was almost completely black as you can see kind of with my magic eraser it was really filthy so let me just give you guys a little look back doors that little back panels off I need to get in there and just a little bit more cleaning with uh, some microfiber towels and get most of the dust out. I vacuumed it. Yeah. Not too bad. And it moves around real easy now with the new rollers, new uh, swivel casters. So, all right, before I go though, also next video working on this um, pedal assembly. Look what they did with the gas pedal. It's like they used a, the brake, the way the brake is supposed to be set up is like this with that little actuator thing and just a micro switch. They kind of wire that up without the um, the cable they must have lost the cable or a cable broke so they hacked that together and I'm gonna have to find a replacement setup there for my gas pedal with a potentiometer so luckily I'll link to a video actually I've already rebuilt one of these for a stand-up so I just need to get the parts to rebuild that and I do have the canopies right there. I just want to clean it up before I put it back on. And that's it. Next, next video will be up and running, I think.